and here we are at the start of the very first race I've ever competed in and shit the bed that's a wall of cars so that was it that that was me making a lot of ground hitting the back of some cars and immediately losing it all again as you'll see over the next few corners as the class b cars just melt away in front of me that was actually a pretty good start, wasn't it? You just got caught behind the BM on the yeah, outside I got, there. Yeah, I got the jump from the radio uh, over the people without a radio. So as soon as the lights went green, you can go. Obviously, some people don't quite react in the same way to people that are told to react. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I got the jump. I would have got a few more places had that BM not taken the uh, place on the track that was rightfully his. How dare he? So these are all Class B guys that qualified behind us and then... Yeah, either qualified up. behind us or I got the jump when I took that extra few metres, right. but yeah, so uh, they're just, you can see that they, they just get so much extra power on the straight, just wander off into the distance. And so how are you feeling at this point then? You're sort of four or five corners into your first ever race. Uh, I don't know, because it's uh, so long since it happened. <laughs> uh, I was obviously almost like filled with too much adrenaline beforehand at this point I was kind of just don't crash 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 and that was kind of there was a lot of that going through my head throughout the entire race which is what probably allowed that class D car to go through because I was so terrified of crashing that I was it was never going to shut the door on him even though like there's no you know you can see that just about faster than him on the straights um, was that the Class D guy? Yeah, that was a Class D yeah, guy. Yeah, he's ridiculously quick. Ah, right, okay. But, so yeah, that, I think I had a battle with him slightly later as well. Um, this corner constantly cocked up. Um, yeah, that was one I really struggled with where it's, it's tricky to get the car slowed and into the right gear smoothly. Yeah, if you, you feel like you're getting up on the straight. And then yeah, you can either be smooth or you can yeah. go in quick. And this, I, I, th I think I absolutely nailed the whatever this corner is called right at the end. Is it Corum? I've no idea. It's the big long right hander. That was uh, optimistic. Yeah. Well, you know, when you don't have enough brakes on the car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So that, that's it. I, I seem to be so much faster on that corner than a lot of other people. That then, oh shit! There's a person in my braking zone. <laughs> uh, we can see our nemesis just coming by. Yeah. The, the class C Porsche. Yeah. This, this, yeah, I don't want to say straight line hero, but <laughs> but um, obviously it's a lot not as quick in the corners as uh, I thought that I was, but I had no chance on the straights against him. Yeah, that's the problem with this car. I think I found that when I was racing against it at Silverstone, that uh, if you cock up a couple of corners, then he gets ahead of you and you haven't really got a chance of getting past unless you do yeah, some brave. Yeah, and and with the, the, the straights being so long, there was, there's no chance yeah. that you're going to keep him behind you in, in the Class C MX-5. Is a, uh, you just see pulls away, pulls away. He just gets that extra bit of power there. I think, mm, have a nosy. <laughs> just let him know you're there. Yeah, well, just say, you know, if you cock up, then you know, you're going to have to come back past me on the next straight, which I'm sure won't be a problem. But the pressure's sort of off a little bit now, hasn't it? The, the cars. Yeah, were... I think the faster cars at this point have all gone through, so yeah. now it's just a case of are there any quicker drivers? Um, I've kind of sailed into the fact where, you know, I'm following his lines as much as I can where I think is feasible because, yeah, he's probably a couple of seconds a lap faster overall, but I don't think he's fully warmed up yet. As you can see, I'm still kind of through the corners, like getting quite close. And then obviously the big long straight, he just wanders off into the distance. Yeah, even in what slipstream there is, it, it still disappears off, doesn't it? Yeah, and then here's me ballsing up this section again. Although, yeah, there it is, yeah, definite balls up, yeah. <laughs> nice, um, nice. I could never decide if uh, third or second was better out there because second you'd get a bit more drive, but you're almost changing you could, up straight away. Yeah, right? it's almost better to take it in third, but yeah. again, and then of course, even after that, I'm, I've made so much time through this the final corner, which we think oh. might be called Corum. Oh. And we'll try it down there. <laughs> <laughs> brave, 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 brave. <laughs> and he's just, and he, in, in thing is, even if we went past him there, he had got a good run out of the corner. 
by the next corner, it'd have probably been at least alongside. <laughs> Still, it's pretty impressive to be. What was that? Third third lap of your first race, and you're having a fight, already. trying to yeah. make some moves. Yeah, an actual move, as opposed to like on the first lap. Yeah, where I just <laughs> was very ambitious. Yeah. Like that, that was an actual. Ah, there's actually an opportunity there for me to try and go around him, or you know, maybe f force him into an error. Maybe he tries to take it too tight and goes a bit, a bit deep or inside or something. So now we start the dance again, really, because he's just getting wandering off in the straight, and then I think I'm maybe gaining a little bit of ground in the corners. You could definitely see through that corner. You got a lot more. Well, either a lot more confidence or a lot more grip than him, because you're you're gaining on him mid corner. And then again, I feel like I'm better on the brakes, <laughs> and then I forget to change gear. <laughs> and then run out of tarmac. <laughs> but uh, that's good. Ooh, ambition. <laughs> and you know, discretion is the better part of valor, and I gave that position back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And again, this corner I couldn't ever work out second or third. It's yeah. just, probably didn't have enough time in the car to really get to grips with it. That was another kind of in-between one for me as well, where you could never decide which one was better. Hmm. Yeah, disappointing, isn't it, to see how, how yeah, close it's you were. such a long straight. One mistake. And it's such a long straight that you can really see what the mistakes cost you. And again, I've seen I've turned in a little bit too early there, but I have at least kept it on the circuit-ish. Trying to um, find some gears as well. Yeah, well, these things happen. I was more concerned about getting staying on the time at that time than the gears. Yeah. And um, having gone off quite, you know, early in the last last lap. Who's this ahead of the Porsche then? Uh, is this I've got no idea. The first of the Class Ds coming up to be lapped, is it? Uh, don't know. No, it looks like maybe someone who's might have had a spin or something. Yeah, I don't think I saw him again. Yeah, just look at that. That's depressing, isn't it? To yeah, watch. It's, I mean, all right. Yeah, I went. I, I did. I did my old lap one breaking on there, but you can see I got close again in the yeah. breaking and through the corner, and it's just. And he's, he's gone now, pretty much. So I think if I hadn't have had that mistake earlier on, on that lap, I might have been able to stick with him for a bit longer and maybe have another bite of the cherry towards the end of that lap, but it wasn't going to uh, it, it wasn't, wasn't going to do anything else other than run away from us. Yeah. Um, Some sort of frantic radio message there. I yeah, no well, I think it was at that. this point that I decided that, that I think the brake pedal's getting a bit long. Right. It was only after the fact I realised it wasn't the brake pedal at all. It's um, Dave's special modification where he's not quite got the dexterity to heel toe, and I have. So what Dave does is puts an adapter on the accelerator pedal. But I've got bigger feet than Dave, <laughs> certainly wider feet. So my braking was also pushing the gas. <laughs> <laughs> that could so explain it. it yeah. yeah, definitely explained it. And, and uh, as a result, I started braking earlier because I was thinking that, especially with it being such a hot day, because I think if you'll check, it was actually hotter than the surface of the sun on this, <laughs> this afternoon. And uh, yeah, I just thought maybe like, you know, I've got form for boiling brake fluid. Maybe I've done it again. And uh, so, yeah, I was a bit, Obviously, in a race situation, then uh, have I boiled the brake fluid? And I was a bit concerned. To be fair, you'd before this you'd spent a total of maybe an hour in the car, hadn't you? Yeah, through, but you can see, like, uh, like right there, then that, that's I've lost my confidence in the car a little yeah. bit because I was a lot slower into that corner. But also, I'm not I'm not fighting that guy anymore in the in the in the Porsche. There's no one behind me. I, I'm kind of in like. I have a, have a fuck the car mode, really. Uh, I, it's yeah, I'm a, I'm a lot calmer for a while. I just need to get my confidence back in the car. I might actually, in a couple of laps, remember that the brake pedal is a bit more central rather than where I was actually putting it. But um, yeah, I'm still accelerating pretty hard. Yes, yeah. just... <laughs> that's never been a problem of yours, Dave. No, it's just pressing that. the pedals hard. Yeah, well, I'm just coming off the gas a little bit earlier, 
um, you know, doing a bit more lifting coast. Yeah. Uh, thinking that, you know, I've cocked, cocked the brakes up. Um, and yeah, it's just uh, probably quite a boring race for a bit now. Um, you can get a little bit of a dab of oppo, but it's nothing too exciting. In terms of actual um, controlling the car, steering and, and stuff like that when you're on the limit, how did you find it? Uh, I th I th it, was, it was fine. Now, obviously the, the big sweaty meaty thing behind the wheel is the biggest problem with the car. Um, but And of course the uh, accelerator adapter. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's just, I, I thought it, was, it, it felt refreshing to drive, having, you know, like you say, I've spent about an hour driving the car in anger. Um, most of the cars I've driven on track have been quite, you know, even the sports cars, they've been heavy because they're laden with uh, excessive leather and luxury and heated seats and whatnot. Um, so even, even the sveltest car on track felt not slow, but a bit cumbersome. Yeah. Uh, compared to the MX5, um, just based on it being, you know, not stripped out. You, know, you strip this out, and it just immediately feels racier and you know, somehow inspired, confidence inspiring. Like um, again, I kept cocking that up, almost compromising that corner to get that one better. Yeah, you can see how the the brakes are really affecting your confidence because you're uh, you're having to over slow it basically you and you're coasting and then overcompensating by by trying to get on the gas sooner than you can really yeah but again it was uh, at this point it's kind of felt a little bit like a track day because <laughs> i'm not i don't feel like i'm in a race at this point i'm just yeah. in a sweaty suit and, and yeah we're only sort of we're 12 minutes in now i think are we and uh, yeah, we're not a, not a huge distance through, and it's not. I've already had two laps on my own, haven't I? Which is, you know, it says a good thing about uh, the, the car. <laughs> that the, the car is really easy to get into, drive reasonably quickly. I think we're in the middle of the Class C pack, so it's a, you know, it's a, it's quite a, an accommodating car. Yeah, you. You didn't seem to struggle in testing. Um, I think you put in the fastest time at the test of the two of us. By a, yeah, by a, by a hair, by a fraction. But then kind of by by race day, you, whether you'd forgotten how to drive it or your foot had swollen up or something. Well, again, I think it's the whole... Um, just just a little pressure. bit of added pressure. And like I say, the, the whole... Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, well... You like that bit of grass, don't yeah, you? Yeah, well, I'm compensating. I'm trying to compensate <laughs> for the brakes. I need to get the time back somewhere. Um, but yeah, it's the whole... I've lost that confidence on the brake pedal. And it's not, it's not actually the brake pedal's fault. It's uh, it's just... Yeah, I just struggled to get it back. Um, I think I am actually getting a bit of the confidence back here um, as you go towards the race. Because I think it might have realised it wasn't my car, so it really matter if I bent it. <laughs> and, you know, I wasn't driving home in this. Yeah, trying to get gear a bit earlier there, so I was a bit more ready for this. But yeah, I've got a bit more confidence on the brakes now. But. Uh, yeah. But again, with the heat and bearing in mind I've been sat in the car for about 40 minutes before we started, I think at this point maybe I'd just forgotten that the brake pedal was getting long. Because <laughs> uh, I've got, yeah, I've got a bit of confidence back. I, I'm still not braking as late as I was at the start of the race. Um, but I'm getting there and, like I say, the, the car was was helping me through that because it, it felt it didn't feel like it was going to try and kill me it felt like it was I could push it it felt good it felt yeah it's pretty tight and uh, there's my number you do look there. like you're getting back in the groove a bit now yeah and it's almost like foreshadowing isn't it uh, 
<laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, so, and that was when I realised maybe actually I was just a bit tired. Kept it running though. Yeah, so, kept it um, running, kept going. Who came through there then? Was that a couple of uh, Class I, D guys? Uh, there was definitely one Class D guy. Right. Uh, I'm not sure about the other guy. But I think, yeah, this, definitely at this point I've realised that it was me and not the brake pedal. Um, so I do get a little bit back on on it. It'd be interesting to see if we've still got the data about the, the lap times to see if around this time, well, <laughs> apart from that lap, obviously, if my lap times did start to come back up after seeing yeah. drop off. But uh, obviously now I feel like I'm in a race. This is great. <laughs> I did that on purpose. See someone. <laughs> It is surprising how quick it can go from absolute pandemonium cars, absolutely everywhere, no and, space yeah, to field just spread. sat on your own. Yeah, the, the field spread really quickly. Yeah. It was, what, three laps and then I was on my own pretty much, three, four laps. It doesn't really look like it on the video, but you can feel it, that you're reeling him in because it's a Class D car and he's slower. <clears throat> and it didn't feel, doesn't look particularly smooth around that corner at any point. But it felt, I think that one felt better, if I can cast my mind about that far. Look at this at this point, I can see I'm catching him, and it gets in my head. <laughs> <laughs> and then he doesn't even give me the satisfaction of, of getting past him because when I catch up to him again I think the guy boxes all oh, right okay <laughs> so when I finally do that like, he box or I box I can't remember to be fair you did quite well there to keep it pointed in the right direction well yeah I, I thought if I tried to keep at that point I knew I couldn't keep it on the tarmac without it, it spinning so I yeah. just that was like oh ditch it across the grass I'm not really getting an advantage am I and just uh, crucially cut the corner before you get to the sausage curb yeah I think I did get a bit of the sausage curb but nowhere near as much of it as was uh, otherwise going to happen I think you took a chunk of it later in the race um, a bit worse than I did but yeah again it's the this is kind of role reversal from the start where actually I'm reeling in a slower car versus who might have a bit more confidence through the corners <laughs> versus uh, the start where I might have had a bit more confidence in the car but I was the slower car I think this so yeah that was the eventual race winner coming through so it's the first car coming through to lap yeah and I think uh, to be honest I can't remember being lapped by that many drivers and um, that's just you know, that at least was just absolutely mentally quick Yeah, making short work of that gap. <laughs> so it was what, four corners between uh, me and the car ahead there? And he's already through and past and, yeah, plowing the field between them. I think this next bit is probably the trickiest bit of the whole circuit, isn't it? It's yeah, Being smooth it, enough through here not to get a fistful of oversteer, but also quick enough that you're not losing a huge amount of time. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I'm consistently turning in, and watching it back, I feel like I'm consistently turning in early yeah. for that for the fast left. And I think that's because in testing, whenever I was turning a little bit later, I, I don't think I got the I got the following turn right once. Just completely cocked it. And there's quite tricky as well because you're you're actually accelerating quite hard all the way around that corner to so keep the momentum, aren't you? And there there comes a point where you've got to come off the gas and get onto the brake for but quite tight to left. Be on a straight line. Yeah, it you always gets really light at the rear there and wants to yeah, come around. Yeah, you, you almost need to be accelerating in a straight line for a bit before you start braking. Yeah. To just balance the car out, but the, there isn't enough track to do that. <laughs> yeah. And there's my favourite Kirby curbs again. Uh, I take this one a little bit more like I just spun there a couple of laps ago. 
Uh, I think at this point I was definitely feeling the fatigue and I think this might be the lap that I box actually. But yeah, I was definitely feeling it at this point. And um, yeah, it was very, very difficult. It would have been difficult if I was doing the full race. I don't, I don't know if I'd have... Uh, well, I, I'm pretty convinced I wouldn't have been anywhere near the same position at the end of the race. I think where we are, where we from where we... Did we start in P6 or P7 in class? I want to say six. Well, where did we finish? I think we started P7 because you finished P6. P6, yeah. I think at this point we're in, might be in, might, might be in seventh or eighth, I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> I don't actually recall any class seat cars going ahead of us, but um, that doesn't mean it didn't happen. <laughs> so it's uh, just a, but yeah, it's was, it was quite a difficult thing. I, I reckon we probably, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> there you go. That's the that's the curse of confidence, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I can do this faster. Yeah, I can do this faster. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. And there's yeah, that's another lap, uh, leader that I've just kind of backed off to let through. Saw him coming, so I just got off the line. That is a big gap between first and second overall. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty large gap. It's almost like a free pit stop, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and then here's the box box. So we've done our stop, and somehow the red and white MR2 was behind us. So he overtook on like the first lap, right? Is that the? Well, you I think you overtook him, and then he got it. Back yeah, yeah, in the I got first it on the start, and he was straight back past. And somehow in the, in the pit stops, they've taken a long stop or something, and I've ended up coming ahead of him. And don't forget that Tom Curry nearly got ran over by the car behind. Oh yes, he stood to the side of the car, almost straight into the live lane. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's a. Ooh, that's a, that's a Revy. <laughs> yeah, so I was kind of put off there. I ended up going a bit too wide and uh, copying yeah, that up. He yeah. was parked, parked right on the inside. You didn't really have any racing line to use. And yeah, that is that red and white MR2. He, maybe he had a bit of a... S no, yeah, he wouldn't have spin because he would have been before it. That's the beforehand, wouldn't he? Yeah, I was fairly sure he was a lot quicker than us in qualifying, so I left the door open here and I thought I'm only going to end up causing myself trouble by trying to stop him coming yeah, through. Yeah, because we know what Dave's like. Oh, I can't drive if there's someone in my mirrors. Yeah, yeah, you, you are. And You're not somebody passed, to lead the pack, are you? Yeah, but then, then once he was passed I thought, oh, you know, balls. <laughs> he didn't quite get away from me as fast <laughs> as I thought he was going to. These two are closer matched. I, I think the MR2 is probably a little bit heavier, but it has a little bit more power. Yeah, I mean, that MR2 finished, what, third or fourth? Fifth. Oh, was it? oh it's not that MR2. No, this this was part of the confusion. Because ah. in the mirrors, I first of all thought, oh, it's the Class B car. But it wasn't. It was the Class C car. Ah. Well. So we could have. T so I overtook somebody in the pits, clearly. And <laughs> yeah, well done. Well, you've taken the uh, you've taken the shine off this, Dave. Cause, uh, <laughs> <laughs> didn't realise that. Yeah, so I'm basically just trying to stay with them as much as I can, while getting up to speed with the car because I don't think he's changed driver. So. I'm getting all the excuses out now, you know, he's already settled in, he's, he's comfortable with the car. Yeah, you have to get, get all the fact that speed. I weed in the driver's seat. <laughs> yeah. I wondered what that was. Well, the fluid is coming out of every orifice day, like, <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, 
you know, much smoother on the downshifts than uh, than myself. It's almost like you're familiar with the car or something. It's thanks to my lack of dexterity in my ankle. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Turning a little bit early there. But again, I think you turn in and early, the car kind of lets you get away with it. It's not, you know, you, I don't think you lose too much time by doing that. Just sort of kissing the rev limiter on the way in there. You're doing what, sorry? Just kissing the rev limiter. Oh yeah, that's what I should call it, yeah. A glancing blow. Yeah, so I use third through through there. Let's see what happens here then. I just waltzes past him. <laughs> Yeah, so your turning's a lot later than mine. A bit sharper as well. And, and you end up in the same place for the next corner. But left again. it in the third there. Well, he was compromised by the, the yeah, car yeah. that was lapping, wasn't he? So that's played into my hands. But yeah, just at times just trying to leave it a gear higher because it might not give you quite as much acceleration, but it's a lot smoother than... Yeah, and the time lost yeah. on the acceleration you gain through being smooth and the car not trying to snap at you. It looks like he got a better drive out of that because he looks like he pulled a bit of a gap out of the corner. But you started to get it back through that corner, so it's, yeah. it's all again, it's much of a muchness. Then I braked a little late there. Braked a little late. He's very tight on the apex. Yeah. He's uh, almost like a, that was a very defensive line. Yeah. I would have had to have been an absolutely Danny Ricardo dive <laughs> onto work there. <laughs> Maybe even a Max Verstappen, because I think you'd have to take that position, you'd have had to push him off the circuit. <laughs> So this has usually been taking third, but you've taken second there, haven't you? I think I'm always taking second through there. Have I got the corners confused? Yeah. yeah very few chance. There's very similar corners here. Let's see what I do this one, because last lap I used third here. I think I'm going to do the same. Yeah, it's third again, isn't it? You just get that bit of a bog down, don't yeah. you? It's, it makes you want to take second when you're doing it. It's just that. Ugh. Yeah, see, that's much smoother. Fortunately, I've raced the snare to now, so I've completed it, and I don't have to do it again. <laughs> So I can forget everything I learned about this circuit. <laughs> Apart from this corner, because I seem to be able to take this corner quite good, so... Yeah. Well, we'll take the victories, yeah. I'm not sure what's happened there, because he's... Um, Fucked off. It's a bit, yeah. <laughs> That mid engine, mate. Oh, I know what it was. Yellow flags. Oh, did you back off for the yellow and he didn't? <laughs> yeah, I um, I backed off for the yellow flags and the safety car board and uh, saw that other people didn't. <laughs> well, at least no one's going to go past you. Or they're going to take a big penalty. Is that what it was for there on one? Yeah. Well, it was just, I think at this point, there are three or four cars yeah, stranded about. Me. Yeah. I thought, oh yeah, well, slow down a bit, mate. 
it's not like uh, that yellow flag at the race that you did at Silverstone where there was a stranded car at every overtaking place yeah and yeah. yet they still waited about 10 minutes before deploying the safety car <laughs> yeah that was horrific wasn't it <laughs> I think they read well they red flag that didn't they and then uh, so it's quite a long safety car period now while they clear all this up which is a shame but because I was so far back again getting the excuses in I hadn't noticed the lights had gone off on the safety car and you see the safety car from here yeah just about just about the really yeah. distance All right. would have been better in a night race yeah, <laughs> yeah. but the, the problem is unless you can actually see the safety car there's no other indication it's coming in they don't take the boards in yeah, and the, 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 the problem the because the lights go off, they don't go off on the start finish straight. The, yeah, or at least, I mean, to be honest, I was at this point in the garage feeling sorry for myself. Um, so, like here, I was, I didn't realise it was happening. I should have been in second way before then because I let them disappear before even accelerating. Yeah. But yeah. this was crazy because because the safety car period was so long. They, I don't think they had time or wanted to filter the cars that had do already they lapped through. Do that? Occasionally they will, but so I ended up with loads of higher class cars right behind me. And then just spend the next few laps desperately trying not to get taken out by people desperate to get past all of us. Is that a class C car? Yeah, I think so. So are you lapping that or Overtaking yes. it? Yeah, lapping it, yeah. So I'm just trying to keep up with this MR2 and not lose too much time to uh, everyone else dive bombing. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? If you go for a dive bomb, as a lapped car's coming through, you just. And that's the MR2 I thought he was earlier. <laughs> Yeah, if you, if you try and slip one up the inside here, it'd be, you're just probably going to just pull off the racing line into a Class A car, aren't you? Yeah. Turned in a bit early there. No, I think you're okay, you go. Yeah, pulling out of the slipstream to cool the car down there, yeah. Actually, I just wanted to see what was happening ahead because I was aware that there's loads of us close together. I didn't want to end up. I was thinking, can I afford to break after him? Yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to see what was actually happening. I think got screwed up a little bit here. Well, what you'll well find there is you'll probably be quicker going through the corners than these, but then can't yeah. actually make it work. I've yeah, found myself too flying, far to the left yeah, here. Yeah, you've, got, you've got a flying letting someone through and it's just bollocks. Yeah. Job. Not quite as dramatic as when I do that though, is yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think through there you'd be able to go quicker, but just off the line there's there's hardly any grip and it, it just yeah, if you get pulls a line you towards right through, the grass, yeah, doesn't it? If you get a line right through there, you basically just gas all the way yeah. around. But if you're offline, it just just wants to push you out, and then your entry to the final corner is just complete. So now famous. something's happened with Ivor in this MX5 because he was ahead. So I saw uh, it oh, get spin, get past spin, him spin. here, and then there's a yeah. there's a bit of a spin, and then yeah, I cock up a gear now. Yeah, and then there's that dreaded bloody Porsche again, <laughs> and uh, he gets past again. So now it's the three of us dicing till the end. Not the kid. Which one you can see is quite an exciting little, uh, quite an exciting battle. After, you know, the best part of, what, 45 minutes racing now. And unfortunately, there's just too many cars to get through without having to slow down way too much. And, and being at the back, it compromises you the most, I suppose, yeah. doesn't it? Hopkins took liberties there. That was really good there. Yeah. 
So at this point I'm thinking, well, we're nearing the end of the race, is it all over? Have I lost my chance? You get a bit of the early turning that I was uh, doing earlier there. But then but fortunately... You, you, but see, that's why I was doing the early turning, because if you get the next corner right, the early turn is exact. you just gained so much ground there by doing that. It just shows you how the, the traffic can work both ways, how, yeah. how much time I lose earlier and suddenly these guys lose it yeah, back on them again. Depending on where you get it, if you get traffic in a slow corner, it can really, really, uh, well, just absolutely wreck your, wreck your <laughs> section. Trying to stay out of his bumper. And see how you can see that you, he's not quite pulling away the same, is he, that he was on the uh, previous laps when you were chasing yeah. him. Yeah, you, yeah. What happened there? <laughs> you letting someone through? No, I just tried a little bit too hard. <laughs> it didn't look like you were trying hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> Understand the line slightly. So that's what you say, heat fatigue, ah, heat stroke, heat stroke. Yeah, that's it. We're just watching this now, there's not that much commentary going on. <laughs> This I'm enjoying you, it, it's been a while. Yeah, this is where you need the uh, the Brundle style. Oh, it's our friend in the Porsche. Yeah, it is he, <laughs> is, is, is he Doing the reason, me a favour. Is he the reason that you end up making that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just a thorn in the side of MX5s up and down the 750 Motor Club. <laughs> He just wants a little bump draft. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I think we must be on the final lap now. Yeah, it's pretty close. Hey, listen back on this, you'd uh, you'd think that we'd planned and scripted this entire commentary, <laughs> but uh, we assure you, <laughs> there's absolutely no script in here whatsoever. I was not expecting him to be uh, overtaken quite so easily there. I mean, it's almost like he missed a gear. I think he got waved through halfway down. I think um, Ivor realised he had the legs on the straight and, and just waved him into the corner. All right, okay. Even though he was fighting for position? Yeah. Oh! There we go. I'm calling it an overtake. I mean, it, it, it is, yeah, in the same way that the... Uh, the red MX, the, the red MR2 overtook you earlier. It's just like, uh, you know, when you also get him a plate of prawn sandwiches on his way through. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And that's the race. That's the end of your first race. Yeah, that was the end. Well, my first race ended about 25 minutes ago. <laughs> I think it, it ended after the first three laps, didn't it? Uh, no, no, because you, you know there was the spin. Uh, which, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't don't forget the spin and uh, chasing down the class D driver in vain because he pitted before I got the chance to crash again. <laughs> <laughs> so the question is, and I know the answer to this. Uh, do you want to do it again? Absolutely. At Snetterton. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>